All right, guys, welcome back to the Juice Box number 18, man. 512 of the best competitors. For only four left. We got loser semifinals, and we got a killer lineup left. Well, uh, starting off the stream, we're going to go ahead and get a run back from earlier tonight. This is winner's quarters. Uh, Epic Gabriel versus Ned is now loser semis. This time they'll face off in a best of five. Before it went game three in uh, Gabe's favor, but now we're going to get a best of five option. Ned versus Gabriel. Winner goes on to fight Sonics. Winner of that face is Sharp in grand finals. Winner's side. So uh, we're going to see how it goes. I'm Rickles. I'm here with Skiff. What's going on, Skiff? Not much. I'm excited to get into this action. This was an absolutely wild set earlier. We saw Ned playing ZSS and uh, went to a game three. You can catch that on uh, Hbox's stream. You can check the VOD for today. Uh, but man, what a match that was. These two were absolutely performing at a high level. Obviously, you're this far in the bracket. But man, I highly, I highly recommend checking out that match if you can. That, ooh, it was some good stuff. Yeah, there's so much action every single Wednesday. And like I said, man, so many competitors fell short from this point. Characters, you know, we have rounding out the top eight, we had Raven King and Chunky Kong in seventh place. And then uh, the Buzz and uh, Adamus finishing in fifth place. And now at this point, every match is an elimination match. Every match is a money match. Everything has something on the line, man. But this match in particular here, loser will finish in fourth place with no money. So uh, Ned wants this run back. And earlier we saw it was a zero suit Samus versus Rob all the way through. Now we're starting with Pokemon Trainer. So we're seeing a different matchup right now. All right. And here we go getting into game one on ps2 uh this should be crazy we're actually gonna be seeing him start with the pokemon trainer as well to see if he can take a big advantage here not gonna be able to use that gyro effectively and now he's off stage yeah this is definitely a hard matchup for pokemon trainer uh, i think gabriel definitely one of the hardest people to be online uh ned falling to losers earlier from epic gabriel before and uh and ned does say that uh, pokemon trainer does have to struggle a lot against uh a zoner characters rob being one of pokemon trainer's worst matchups but ned's done the impossible before he's beaten young link online he can do this too Oh, for sure, yeah. No, Ned is an absolute machine. And, oh, uh, wow, Epic Gabe was going for a hard read there, hoping the gyro was going to hit Ned into center stage where he was waiting for that up smash to try and take that early stock, but wasn't going to be able to get it. But the arm rotors, are going to chase out there with that little boost. Uh, not going to be able to get it going, though. Uh oh Let's see what the option is. Oh, no, we're going to get a re-grab option here. We're going to stall it out with the Charizard, but that doesn't matter. Takes the wrong get-up option, and Epic Gabriel taking stock one. Ned can definitely reset this really quick, but let's see if Gabriel can survive. Yeah, no, I mean, so 87%, uh, Pokemon Trainer does have the kill options uh, and and power to be able to take the stock very quickly. It's just a matter of getting that open because, man, Epic Gabriel has been playing on fire tonight. Despite the fact that he's in the loser side of bracket right now, uh, he has been on fire from start to finish. Yeah, by no means is this an easy matchup at all for Ned. This is an uphill battle. They're both a player of Gabriel's caliber and uh, Rob in general. And uh, Gabe was playing incredible in winter side of things, too. Just kind of got... Uh, uh, Sonic's just kind of like basically zero to death to win winners semis to put him in the spot, but uh, both of them uh, want a chance at Sonic's in losers finals. And here comes a taunt for Ned. He's feeling powered up, man. He's got a very a lively chat right now. Yeah, I mean, I hope that taunt is gonna get you powered up because you do not want to be dropping this game, Seth and Gabriel, man. Like, uh, <laughs> this dude knows how to open people up for big damage and uh, taking these stocks far. Yeah, there we go. Just like that, Epic Gabriel taking that 90% lead on the stock and just closing up the stock a little bit further. Going to get him with a sneaky hit there. Uh, if Ned air dodges, he will die, but Charizard's got that extra jump and side deep recovery. Doesn't have to air dodge anytime soon. And let's see if he can reset the stocks right now. Wow, great uh, jump just to kind of bait out the air dodge and then punishing it with the forward tilt. But Epic Gabriel getting back on oh. stage, looking like he never was in disadvantage at all. The forward smash is not going to be able to kill Charizard just a little too heavy. But man, it is looking tough for Ned. Yeah, Ned will air dodge on the ledge, and that's going to be an overextension with the dash attack. Still very heavy boy. Uh, not enough rage, but that's going to be a jab lock, and that's it. <laughs> yep, that's going to be it. Three kill screens, and the third time is the charm, as Epic Gabriel is going to find this game one here. Uh, they're looking a little rough for Ned. Yeah, I won't say that the taunt was a disrespect thing, just a, a straight up thing where uh, he's having a really good stream right now, really good vibrant chat, and uh, he's uh, showing confidence right here. It is a best of five format this time around, so uh, Gabe's still got to win two more if he wants to win the set. I think both of them are streaming, so this is a very good way to see multiple perspectives from this set. Uh, either way, man, uh, Gabriel, a very, uh, I mean, a very powerful win, I'll say. Yeah, for sure. No, that's definitely a good statement to make.
in this game one here. We'll have to see uh, where Epic Gabriel is going to be going into this game two. Um, again, he's been doing really well. Let's see. He lost to Sonics earlier 3-2, but that was a very, very back and forth set. Um, I think it came down last stock, last hit. I'm not sure uh, if I remember correctly, but then he basically lit off the buzz in that game one. It did go to a game four situation. The buzz made some great adaptations, but Epic Gabriel was going to clean that up. And it looks like he's continuing the momentum here uh, right now. But I mean, game two, we're going to have to see if Ned can turn this around. Yeah, here we go. Smashville is the choice for game number two. Pokemon Trainer, he's staying with it. I mean, Ned's done, uh, dealt with worse before, but Gabriel is uh, playing with a lot of his own fire right now, a lot of his own passion, because he wants this rematch with Sonics. He wants to prove that he will beat him, and he wants a shot at Sharp in Grand Finals. But he's got to get through Ned first, and he's doing a really good job so far. Yeah, no, uh, that was a lot of great damage there between the gyro and the down tilt. And tried going for another option, but the gyro is actually going to push Squirtle past Rob. So he didn't get too much out of it. I mean, he got a, a lot out of it, but he, it could have been a lot worse for Ned. <laughs> Ooh, Absolutely. Trying to get it again. Ned will find the grab here, but he's got to find a lot more if he wants to close this stock. Gabriel kind of find these openings he's been finding the whole night. Oh. Yeah, these up smashes are going to punish each overextension so far. Yeah, no, he's definitely looking pretty great right now. Uh, and here we go, trying to get some more damage. The opening not going to be quite there, and going to get punished by the up smash from Charizard. Not quite going to kill here, uh, but still, getting him up to that kill percentage. Charizard has a plethora of options to delete stocks. All right, here we go. Going to catch the Nair, and going to put Ned at ledge. Ned really absolutely struggling. It's very hard for Pokemon Trainer in this matchup, as we're noticing, and Gabe is just very confident in the matchup. Sure, for sure. Let's see where it goes from here. Though, oh, almost getting a downer to end that stock. Man, oh, Gabe oh, oh. has been uh, really pressing his advantage here, just finding ways to continuously harass Ned. Oh, miss space, the Z drop, and gonna get thrown off stage. Still living though, so it's not too bad. Yeah, but 126% on Ned's second stock. He's absolutely bleeding right here. Back air sweet spot's gonna be more than enough to KO Rob off the side, but uh, Gabe looking confident. All right. Oh. Good DI. Yeah, very a good DI. Squirtle, though, a grab will spell doom or that. Yeah, the arm rotor is a uh, very, very lethal kill option. We're going to be able to see uh, Epic Gabriel get that on a very high percentage Squirtle. That's definitely going to kill that, especially on Smashville. There's just there's no way. There's no way he's living. And that's already got 31% on his last stock. Going to get the, looks like a, basically a true combo if he could find that. And almost found a spike to make it an even game. He's just tacking on these hits. Yeah, but Charizard being a big body and uh, Epic Gabriel being on top of a lot of uh, confirms today. Not really dropping a whole lot here. So, I mean, he's definitely doing a good job getting that extra damage, getting those extra hits. Oh, going to get that second hit of the up smash, though. Yeah, uh, he's trying very hard to get these hits. Oh, that should be enough, right? Not uh, quite. I don't know if the forward smash would have done it, but I mean, it may be because uh, he didn't get it on uh, PS2. PS2 is a bit larger, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not oh, entirely sure. She finds the Tomahawk, catches the get up option as well, and just shortens the recovery with that multi hit. Very unfortunate stuff, but if you're gay, man, you are taking that to the bank one game away from Losers Finals. Yeah, uh, one game away from Losers Finals indeed, and a potential rematch with Sonics once again. Uh, a rematch from Winter Semifinals. Uh, that was a game five set, but I mean, you can't rest quite yet. This is Ned we're talking about. Ned is a fantastic player. Again, top 40 in the world, online and offline. Uh, you cannot sleep on this dude. He's absolutely talented. I know we're seeing Epic Gabriel really just put on a clinic and rob gameplay, but again, you have to finish this out strong. You can't let up in even the slightest bit. Yeah, Ned's down but not out. However, uh, gave a champion in his own right. I think he'd be ranked a bit higher on the online ranking for sure. And he's gotten first in a lot of these, so he is ready to prove himself even more. So going up 2-0 on Ned is no small feat. Even taking games on a player of this caliber is a big deal. So 2-0 uh, advantage, one game away from uh, just eliminating Ned in fourth place with no money. We're going to see the zero suit pick. Uh, it did earn a net a game earlier in winner's quarters. Let's see if it can get the reverse 3-0 or if Gabriel will be moving on. Yeah, we will see for sure. Uh... Yeah, it's definitely going to be tough. Okay, so we're going back to PS... Uh, wait, were we on PS2 game one? We were, right? Uh, yes. Our, uh, my good friend, Mr. Smash GG, will tell me that we were on PS2, <laughs> then Smashville, yes. 
Alright, so yeah, we did see, obviously, Epic Gamers won both games so far. Uh, this one wasn't too bad. It did kind of get to a, a late game scenario, but um, uh, we're now we're seeing the ZSS. So we saw the ZSS go a game three earlier, but um, still ended up dropping the set to Epic Gabriel. So I don't know if this is like too late to kind of change it up, but it might just be better overall in general because I think ZSS is actually a, a very strong pick for Rob anyway. I guess the grab will he find the follow up. Good evasion from that. Good mash and using uh, Zero Suit's get out of jail cards right there, man. The, the flip kick will help. We're going to get punished for attempting a grab. All right, yep, that's gonna be a grab right there. Epic Gabriel trying to go for an arm rotor. Looking for a back air down deep, but Ned's not gonna be able to find it. Epic Gabriel gonna be able to get back the stage, and wow, this is not gonna get all the hits from down smash. Up throw on the platform, that's gonna be more than enough at 130%. Gabriel taking first stock, poised for this 3-0. Ned's gotta find an answer. Up air to back here's a start. Here we go. Are you gonna be able to land? That gyro just get a little bit of extra damage. This is where the extra credit is going to come in handy. Great grab. Uh, just recognizing the, situ the situation. But Ned going to be able to get back to stage. But for how long, man? Uh, Epic Gabriel's been doing such a good job of uh, just kind of getting that out. Oh, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> Forget what I was going to say. But <laughs> he has been doing a good job of putting Ned off stage time and time again. All right. Here we go. Uh, Gabriel sitting on a second stock. Trying to close the gap. I think that air dodge in might have been like a misinput or misspaced. And now Ned has a fighting chance of getting the stock advantage. But Gabriel has been playing so confident this entire set is looking like his set. Great stuff so far. The Gabriel trying to find ways to continue to pile on his damage. But it looks like Ned is finding a way to kind of even this up a little bit. It's slowly but surely. Yeah, Gabriel just kind of like playing anti-grab game that's super effective, especially against Zero Suit Samus. So uh, he's very aware of when Ned is trying to grab and punish it on at least three occasions that I've seen. So good stuff to Gabe, just uh, making the adaptation to Zero Suit Samus a far different character that is uh, from Pokemon Trainer. All right, but there we go. A nice little oh. There. oh, that could be huge. I don't... I don't know. Maybe that's still the best option. Okay, you know what? Led to a stock. So that was the best option indeed. Way, way to go. <laughs> yeah, beautiful stuff coming out from Ned. Finally getting a stock lead in this set for the first time, it seems. So uh, just like that, it's a race. Epic Gabriel one stock away from eliminating Ned, double eliminating him, no less. So let's see if he can make it happen. Right. Another catch on the grab, yeah. Ooh, almost uh, getting a, a big arm rotor there, a rotor arm to be able to not, not just put Ned into a worse spot off stage, but potentially a stock. I mean, not quite at this percentage, but still, it just puts ooh Ned into a dangerous spot and <laughs> almost another dangerous spot. But once again, man, Epic Gabriel just carrying him across the stage. Ned uh, positioning himself. Oh man, misses the tech, but that's a weird situation where he just didn't find a jab block. It might have been out of a percent range or just set him up right. But Ned is going to take that to the bank because if had that jab block existed, I think that was just the set. I'll go oh. real deep there. He's got to be careful. Oh, it doesn't get a tech. And almost gets murdered for that on landing. Right this there, is so close. Right stage, that's a big laser. A grab oh, the sure gyro! The resources are all gone. Yep. What a catch from Gabriel, putting him and Ned off stage so many times. And just like that, Epic Gabriel will complete double elimination, moving on to Losers Finals. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, very good momentum behind Epic Gabriel right now. That was actually uh, some great edge guarding over there, using that gyro to stop Ned from recovering way too high. And then he's using the rest of those options just to to burn out the resources from Ned, not being able to recover, and gonna eat that spike at the end. A uh, 3-0, moving into Sonics, that's some good momentum you need to go into, uh, wow, going into this loser finals.